JavaScript, debounce. How to delay a function. Let's add a text box with the ID search and define a function named log. That takes parameter E and logs the value typed in the text box. We'll listen to the search text box and on every input event, call the log function. Let's try it. The function is called on every keystroke. But imagine this function fetches data from a large database or calls an API. Running the function on every keystroke can cause performance issues. So we need something that waits until the user finishes typing. This technique is called debouts. Let's apply this technique by triggering a new function called dlog. This is the dlog function. It equals the value returned from the debounce function. We will define a function named debounce and pass the log function to it with 500 milliseconds as the delay time. I thank God for giving me the ability to think. We will call the log function after 500 milliseconds. If the function call is canceled before 500 milliseconds, the log function doesn't run. The debounce function is like this. It takes a function as a parameter and also takes a delay time. When this function is called, it will set a timer and store the timer in a variable named timeout ID. Here is the key point. If called again before the timer ends, clear timeout cancels the timer, so the scheduled function doesn't run. The timeout function is like this. It calls the specified function after the delay time passes. Let's try. God is the greatest. Every time I press a key, the timer is canceled and the log function is not called. The first verse of the Quran is read. The first word Muhammad heard from the angel was read.